Hi, and welcome to a bit of a different, but also interesting video. As you may know, I recently got a microscope because I was curious at looking at some microscopic things. And as someone who has spent their whole life studying the macroscopic, you know, the, the big things, the fish that can be found in streams like this, and you know, macroinvertebrates and things like that you can see with the naked eye, I thought it would be interesting to complete the picture, right? Like when you go to a stream or an ecosystem, you can see all the plants, you can see all the bugs, you can see all the fish, things like that. But you never really see what's actually keeping the ecosystem together at the most basic level, which is all of the microscopic stuff. So today I thought we would look at a drop of this stream water which I did an Avian Jay's Adventures video on, so you should know all the living things in the stream that we can see with the naked eyes. Let's see what's in a drop of the stream's water microscopically. First things first, we have to get a sample. I've chosen to use a little jar. I just find it gets the most amount of stuff. And now this is a common mistake people will make with microscopy is they'll do something like this, where they'll just grab water. And really there's not a lot of things that just sit in free floating in stream water. So what you really need to do is instead grab some sediment or along a rock or something of that sort. See how I got a bunch of floating material? That's gonna make for a much better source of microorganisms than it would be if I just grabbed at the water in general. So let's go take a look at this. All right, I'm here at my desk. If you ever wonder what my desk looks like, this is it. This is the setup that I stream and record everything from. So this is the water that I grabbed a few hours ago. It's been a few hours, I actually live streamed. So it has settled a little bit, so we're gonna have to stir it up a bit. Uh, and we're just gonna wanna get some of that sample onto this slide, put a cover on it, and then put that under the microscope. Luckily, the microscope has this handy phone holder, so we should be able to record some pretty good video from there. All right, so we're just gonna stir up the water here to get everything that's settled in the past few hours moving again. Then I'm going to take my pipette, fill it up with water from you know near the bottom, near the, the rocky area. It is pretty clear, so I'm not sure how much we'll be able to see, but see what we can find. We can always re-slide, put that drop of water right there, take the cover, drop it on there. Now we can go ahead and take this slide, put it under the microscope, and move to the microscope view. All right, welcome to microscope mode. Um, so what you're seeing on the side now is what I'm seeing under the microscope in this current moment. Uh, and essentially I've just got the phone hooked up to the microscope so I can see what's going on. So this is at the, the very lowest zoom. You can see there are you know some discernible figures, things like this. This little thing right here might be a diatome. And we are going to be able to zoom in further on these things. This is probably some sort of ciliate right here. Something that is a ciliate has a cilia, aka something it can move with. This looks interesting. Let's, uh, let's zoom in on this guy. So how you zoom in with a microscope, you have to take the stage down, move it down a bit, move to the next zoom, and then readjust the stage until it is focused again. And there it is. So that right there is the little guy that I had zoomed in on. Pretty interesting little thing. Not exactly sure what it is, but that's cool from a drop of stream water. All right, this is him at the highest magnification. And definitely see some movement in and around him, but I'm not exactly sure what he is. Uh, I will obviously go identify everything later. I'm not the best with microscopic stuff, but it is cool to look at what's here. This is definitely a diatome of some sort. Diatomes, I believe, are algae. This little pointy guy that... I don't even know how to describe his shape. Maybe like a straight banana? <laughs> this is a common shape you see. These are diatomes. Ooh, look at that! That right there. So that is from the family Vorticellidae. It is holding on, it has a stalk. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that guy, because that's that's really interesting. This guy right here in the middle, it's on a stalk. It almost looks like a, a piranha plant, like a Nintendo piranha plant. And look how it teleports back. It moves so fast that you can't even catch it. Once it reaches its max, it sort of snaps back to default like that. Look at that, instant. It looks like it lagged, like the video lagged, but I'm watching it in real time. That's actually what it looks like. So this guy 
as you can see, has a little spiral thing that's holding him in place. And he'll reach out, trying to grab something, and then sort of snap right back into place in an instant. It's so fast you can't even see it. He'll, he's clearly going at different depths because you'll see he's zoomed. I can, you know, put him in focus here because he's at a higher depth right now. But then when he snaps back, now he's out of focus. You got to refocus him. Really cool. So this is, I'm pretty sure, the family Vortis Saladai. So this, like, little guy hanging off of the green right here. I'll go ahead and try and zoom in further on him on the max zoom. We're working with 2,000 times zoom now, by the way. We are 2,000 times larger than what you would see in real life. So this guy is probably hard to make out. But this is in the genus Roycosphania, which is a type of diatome. Very interesting. They have a very unique shape. I don't know how to describe it in an effective way, but you can tell them apart pretty easily by their shape. I do believe that's what that is. I'm not 100% sure, but that certainly looks like the images that I've seen before. It's a type of diatome, I believe. Very interesting little guy, surrounded by all these little guys that move around kind of fast, but they're, they're chilling right now. Look at that wavy guy in the back. There's another one of those diatomes. Now these guys are everywhere. These little circular guys that just, you can see their insides. They got stuff going on inside them. Is this a claw? This looks to be the claw of some kind of insect. So some insect lost its, uh, lost its foot, its claw, its appendage, and it has now ended up tiny under my microscope. Ooh, look at this. What's happening here? Look at these two guys attached to each other in some way. What are they doing? And is this being pulled from them? So these are what those guys look like much closer up. These little guys that you see everywhere, which are just the circular type things that have the little green inside of them. Ooh, look at this guy. This is a clear ciliate. You can see on his front he has some of those hairs, which I assume would allow him to move. Wow, look at this. It's like, it's like a freaking ant colony with how many of them there are. There's a whole giant group of friends there. Well, since there's so many and they're not going to move probably too far, let's zoom in. You can see them at better resolution. Look at this. <laughs> Talk about activity. Look at these guys. Just a huge group of these guys swimming around. Look at how fast some of them move. It literally looks like they're teleporting. Look at th it looks like it, uh, this is in fast mode. This is in real time. I swear this is in real time. Oh, look at that. I wonder if that's the, the Vorticella die again. It does look like he has that stalk. Is this what they look like up close? It certainly has that shape and that stalk. Very interesting. You can see the way he's sort of moving the particles in front of him. Sort of like a filter feeder. Oh, yep, that's definitely what he is. You see as he snaps back, closes his mouth. I wonder if something touches him the wrong way, he gets scared, and then snaps himself back. Oh, oh, hello. Look at this guy moving through. Big boy. Oh, sir, 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 do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Sir, your car warranty, it's expired. Sir. <laughs> Following guys like this is pretty difficult, but... This guy's not too, too fast. I can keep a pretty good eye on him, and he's a terrible driver. He's bumping into literally everything. Ooh, look at him. Now that's something I haven't seen before. He sort of looks like the Vorticella die. But he has, like, teeth on his front? I guess he's not totally attached to a stalk. That's very interesting. Let's let's get closer to him. That's a very interesting little guy that I have not seen before. I am really not sure what he is. Maybe someone in the comments will know. That is a very interesting thing. I've never come across anything like that before. Ooh, look at that. Circular, but with like a clear figure eight pattern in the middle. Not, again, something I've ever seen before. 
all kinds of new stuff today. Then again, I've only been doing this for a pretty short amount of time, so... I guess it's not surprising that I'm always coming across new things. But look at that. Unique, rectangular-shaped diatome. And right in the middle, of course, is one of the spinny guys, which we've been seeing everywhere. I love the spinny guys, they're so fun. Oh, look at this guy. Must be a worm or something of some sort. He's like perfect. He's like this perfect smooth green, but look at the way that he drifts through the water. Doesn't undulate or oscillate at all. He just kind of moves. I don't even know what this guy is, but he's very cool. Whoa. Look at that little spiral in the middle there. That looks like the part that the Vorticella die were attaching to. I wonder if this big blob right here is the head and it got detached totally from its little base and so it's dead. Look at that. A little ciliate that's not doing too much. For once we found a little ciliate, a little circular shaped guy with hairs who's not going berserk running in all directions so we can actually look at him. Very nice of him. All right, well that appears to be most of what I'm going to find today. I've been at it for about an hour and a half now, so I figure there's probably a couple other things I could come across, but hopefully I gave you guys a good idea of all the various things that you could find in a drop of stream water. And if you'd like to give this your, you know, a try yourself, this microscope was only about 90 bucks on Amazon, uh, and that's pretty much all the equipment that I used came with the microscope. So this is a fairly easy project that you could do yourself if you were really interested in microscopy. I just thought it was really cool to look at what little things are living in the world around us, especially in the areas that I frequent, but never really think about the microscopic side of it. So I hope you enjoyed.